Hello people of the internet, Omesh here. These are my two friends, colleagues and sluts. So anyways, I have boss in my right side. Go. A minute has not been passed. Go. My man is like, go, go. go. <laughs> Uh, Introduce uh, each other. Come on. I am Dara first. Okay, my name is Darko. You can call me Dara. <laughs> That's it. Vassal. My name is Vassal. I have a YouTube channel, The Self Improvement Cult. If you want to check that out, it, it should be up uh, by the time this video is uploaded. What, what do you guys study? Come on. Uh, in archive. So. Yeah, as I said, I study law, but I was uh, thinking of moving to something else, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how how life gives me opportunities, and if if it actually does, if it doesn't, well, there's Germany, so <laughs> <laughs> it's far away. Just free two, labor. <laughs> two, two Macedonian paychecks away, you can start going to Germany. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. Yeah. Okay, man. So, anyways, how how many of you guys are uh, interested in Soviet history? Well, let me start with me. Or... Going from okay. right to left, I, well, from I, my left, right to left. All right, all right. Well, I'm. I wasn't interested in Soviet history, except for the World War Two era, where you know, Germany, Soviet Union, and then Soviet Union goes back and kills Germany, yada yada. That I I only know that type of history, but in terms of you know in depth history, other than Stalin, Khrushchev, and Brezhnev. That's that's all, all I know. And Gorbachev as well. That, those are all those, the Soviet things. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, except, literally except, that's for Lenin, Lenin. except for Lenin, those are all the yeah, Soviet things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lenin too, yeah, I forgot Lenin, but I didn't I haven't had the time to study him in Lenin depth. wasn't Soviet, he is all of ours. All of ours. All of ours. What about you, Dad? Are you interested in Soviet history? How much do you know about it? Well, I study a lot of history in my school, so I know about historical events that happened in Soviet Union, not the details. Mm -hmm. Some of the details I researched them. <coughs> Some not important, I guess. Uh -huh. Unimportant. Yeah. So, anyways, it's Khrushchev, right? This uh, Khrushchev. technically the third or fourth uh, Soviet dictator. Okay. Under his uh, reign, after 55, basically the death of Stalin, after that, he implemented a lot of, like, uh, social reforms around the nation, okay? And he kind of fucked up the agriculture by fucking very, being very into corn. Alright? Uh, we'll talk about this. In, yeah. Uh, Men love corn. Corn? Man's corny. Yeah. <laughs> And under his legislation, uh, the Soviet, okay, like the body of the Soviet Union, all right, like the parliament, thought up with an idea, Ogas, right? It's uh, the Ogas is like a very old, not old, like fucking very early designs of the internet, but Soviet. Have you heard about that? I read something about it. It was uh, about to moneyless the economy of the, the Soviet Union. To make the society moneyless. Moneyless. Yeah. 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 Because the Soviet Union was striving towards communism and communism is a moneyless society. There's more de uh, details to that. What about you? Have you heard about it? No, I, I, I mean, we've read the script before, but no, I haven't. I've heard of the, uh, the Soviets trying to uh developed the internet first but obviously they didn't so something bad must have happened or something wrong or they weren't funded enough so that's what we, we were taught at school and that's pretty much it and they, that the americans beat them in everything yeah they, that's they, the main yeah. that's the main western propaganda that you know americans are the first in everything and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But we don't talk about the first man in space, no, 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 no. that never happened. Or no. the first woman in space. Or the first, first woman, or the first dog. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we just we don't, talk, we don't about talk about that. Yeah, democracy so, and whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. Soviet Union didn't end the World War Two. it was America with the nuclear weapons. Check. Fine. Okay, so in August, August is, um, is an idea, a concept for the Soviets to make their economy 
and uh, transfer of information to be a lot faster, okay? So if, back then computers used to be like, you know, the size of rooms, like apartments yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, things like that, right? Size of, of three stadiums at first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, as they are still becoming more compact and smaller and smaller, uh, the Soviets saw that there's like a potential in this type of uh, device to transmit information. Because back then, their economies were, you know, planned ahead of time. The entire Soviet economy was planned. You know, the amount that they need to produce in wheat, the amount that they need to produce in books, the amount they need to produce in students, in military equipment, and everything was planned ahead of time, okay? So, um, you have this man, what was his name? Uh, Glushkov. Glushkov? Yeah, that was his uh, surname. Okay, yeah. I, th I think it was Victor or something. Victor Glushkov, yeah. Regardless of. Uh, he's Glushkov, the yeah. surname is Glushkov. So. Regardless of his name, right? Yeah, Victor he, Glushkov. Yeah. yeah. Victor Glushkov, he uh, thought about this idea due to the fact that the Soviet Union was so vast. Okay, R modern day Russia is larger than Pluto. Okay? Right. It's like about, uh, like, 36% larger, I'm not sure, okay? It covers the entire surface area of that planet. The Soviet Union was about 50% larger than that. You have all the stands, you have the Caucasus nation, you have all, almost all of Eastern Europe, okay? And you have all of that, plus you have other communist nations which, you know, co-work with other communist nations with plans. Like, for example, if Poland cannot produce enough, um wheat in that year the soviets with their surplus they need to offer up to poland so that poland, yeah. so that price ranges don't go way up or go way down so that the economies don't crash and the issue with handwritten economies right when you write down everything is that you cause a lot of mistakes a lot of errors okay like what happened in poland like there was a lot um there was a shortage of wheat there was a shortage of milk there was shortages of eggs like, they costed more than, like, a lot of furniture cost in one period of time. And they were ridiculous in prices. And then there was, like, attempts of coups, attempts of uprisings, market reforms left and right. And then the Soviets came in to, you know, uh, quit that, it, you know, have that fucking this stuff. Disassembled the, yeah. the uprisings. Yeah. Also, it happened the same in Hungary. Hungary is more... Hungary, uh, yeah. More revel uh, relevant. Yeah, it happened so, in Czechoslovakia. In Romania, too, I think there was a... An attempted coup as well, but yeah, but or was it I... the late period before Gorbachev allowed them to have it? I think it was no, no, no. Uh, Romania is like what modern day Turkey is to NATO, yeah, very, very weird because they have like allies which are not allies to most of the NATO mem members. That's what Romania was like, semi of a loose cannon. So, back to the main topic, right? Uh, you have uh, Victor wanting. To have all of those issues, either A, stop completely, or B, minimize them so much more, okay? Mm. So they developed a plan, and they started funding of this operation. This operation could have, like, started... 62 to 70. Yeah, eight 62. Years. Eight years. An eight-year-long operation. And they stopped that operation. I mean, they... Uh, stop giving the finance. Yeah, the reason why the finance didn't happen. The reason. Wait, before we go into the finance, what was the point of the entire thing? What, how they wanted to achieve all of that, right? They wanted to achieve every single community that's living in the Soviet Union, first of all, okay, in the far districts of Siberia, in the Kazakh, uh, Kazakhstan, and yeah, the other states. Uh, yeah, all of those places, to whenever they need resources. Or if, like, a national disaster happens, they don't have to wait, like, maybe a, a week, a month, if not more, yeah. so that resources and help will show up. They want the things to go snappy, quick, fast, somebody have, just like how we uh, we do it today, right? The internet helps us out. When a disaster happens, within the first hour, you have people already reacting from nations such as, like, even Japan. Okay, mm -hmm. from here, if something happens here, nations of Japan will find it out within an hour. Okay. I think the more important thing is that the information is sent in a second, in a millisecond. Yeah, right, right now, yeah. But uh, we're talking about 
We're talking about the fact that the like the example, intervention the intervention is happening in an hour. It, the ETA is it, 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 uh, yeah, it varies yeah. from minutes to hours. But the more important thing is, I mean, I think in my opinion is that the information comes in within seconds, which is groundbreaking, literally. Yeah, but and the, yeah. Im Im imagine, sorry, that I imagine if the Soviets actually continued f uh, funding this project and eventually they crafted the internet as it is today, we would have, we, we, I believe the entire globe would be speaking Russian today, yeah, instead of English. And that's uh, my take. And I could be wrong, but it, just imagine a, a world where the internet is founded by Soviets and then everybody speaks Russian instead of. <laughs> English. I want to tell you that uh, in that time the information travel through wires was a, a lot slower. Today we yeah. have optic cables, you know, faster information, uh, constant uh, travel not up and down. So you cannot uh, tell that in that day in in. In the past, in that era, in, the, in that era, that uh, the information travel for seconds. Yeah, I mean, I'm... no, he's he's probably thinking about like a concept where, imagine current day internet being in the nineties or being in the yeah, early two thousands. Uh, yeah. When we would be thinking... born, we would be born like five or six G would be trying to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That that was. Exactly I mean, would be want to talk about that Nikola Tesla was also having. Plans for that, yeah. But you know, he did go. He he went to live in America, my guy. Yeah. So, anyways, another thing about this uh, operation, right, and plan, is you have to think of it in a, in another aspect because back then uh, it was run just like I said by hand by people, thousands of people. Okay, M tens of thousands of people, which go down, sit in rooms, and like plan ahead of times for like five years, ten years. 20 okay you have people like that rooms filled with people which are mostly mathematicians writing down things okay in america it used to just be women writing down these things okay yeah. in soviet union you know, they didn't really have that uh, that much of a discrimination so here's the thing right the the oligarchs well not the oligarchs the bureaucrats at the time which used to be managers of those types of people right they found the sense of this idea as slightly frightening to them due to the fact that they might lose their jobs. Okay, just like, for example, today where people are scared of, like, robots taking... Uh, yeah, the AI. Yeah, AI is, like, replacing you in, like, certain operations, yada, yada. They were scared they would lose their jobs and they would not have any money. Okay? Now, the difference between now Soviet and socialist ec economies compared to market liberal economies is the fact that when something is done automatically without any human effort put into that it would eventually end up being free okay when so much surplus happens when there's too much of something produced the prices go lower they don't want to prevent that they don't want to be like hey no i don't want this to just keep on going lower in fact it they're okay free. with it yeah exactly which, which is free. the point of communism yeah. yeah to make it free in vietnam and in yugoslavia when there was like an abundance of milk you know what happened we just offered it to for free to people in the streets like you know there was too much of it you know it's not, you not it. worth selling just take it okay in america you know what happens farmers go up with their milk and just like flat out just spill let it. it spill it all over the streets as a form of protest and as a form of like minimizing their own damages so they can have profit so they were scared that they would be replaced so every single time that they get funded from that operation they purposefully would have flooded that with like unnecessary scientists like people that are either overqualified or underqualified for that situation okay and the task that they were meant to do was hilariously dumb like for example there was like days and weeks where they would just sit there okay write down their names and then they say check if the electricity is uh going well <laughs> that's it days and weeks going by just like that just check if the electricity is going well okay next day you're doing the same thing again here and there when progress was made 
that progress will then stagnate for another year. And then the Soviet economy, knowing that, you know, it has need to allocate resources to other projects as well, which are more relevant. Like, for example, back during the 60s when this was taking place, the, uh, the space race was taking uh, place as well. Okay, in 69, the first moon landing happened, and that's by Americans. And that's like a year before the project fully cancelled its finances. Yeah. As you can they, see, the so... Yeah, probably they relocated... Probably... Uh, what was the project called? Uh, August? August. August. August isn't probably the only project they cancelled. They must have cancelled many projects to compete yeah. with the this Americans was, uh, with one the space more, race. Yeah, one more with five lit or letters. I don't remember the first two. The third, fourth and fifth are SVT. But that project was after the August, but uh, it was immediately was cancelled. The same, like the August. Oh, the same as the August. Yeah, yeah uh, it was like a re-initiated. They ah, re-initiated, okay, so but they, they uh, cancelled it again. With a different name, but it's yeah. the same concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they they cancelled it. Imagine, imagine if we live in a hypothetical world where we didn't have those bureaucratic people taking place and just like having people in charge, overfunding, underfunding, left and right. We have an ideal situation where the Soviets understand what they want and they knew what they're going to be building, okay? And let's just say from 62 when the project started, they finished it at 65, okay? 1965, the internet is successful. The first time it's used is a uh, internet communication or internet at this point, okay? Communication from Moscow all the way to Vladivostok, and they need to send a message. And the first message that's been sent from that system being Do Svidanie. The first message, when it is received within the first minute, is already revolutionary. That is 9,000 or 6,000 kilometers, kilometers distance yep. that was traveled within one minute. The first ever message being sent in Russian. The first ever uh, voice heard in outer space was Russian. First man into space was Russian. And then you have a lot of things being Russian. Well, technically first Soviet. Woman. You first Soviet, woman. not Russian. This is not a nationalistic type of nation. This is more of like collectivized. Okay. What computers would help in like processing and all that. And now having things travel with that long of a distance would probably have made the Soviets win the moon race. They probably um, would be the ones sitting for no, something. But it also would have been as you said, very re revolutionary in terms of military and combat, you know, yeah, doctrines, yeah. because imagine the Soviets, you know, uh, crack the internet first, and then the Americans, during the Cold War era, they would have... <laughs> they would have shut themselves. They would have shut themselves. Yeah, yeah. I was going to use another word, but literally, well, imagine you're an American, POV, you're an American, and you see the Soviets inventing the first internet. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? You, you're just gonna, you know, you're what? Gonna be you like, know what? I, mean, yeah, I, haven't touched, I haven't touched my Russian dictionary in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, but yeah, just imagine. I think a lot of things would have been different. Because the moon landing, then the first man in space, and then the first internet, uh, pro I don't think. I don't know. I think the Americans were inventing something similar, but they were oh, we they were they were far away yeah. from we completing it. We forgot during the nineteen sixties. We forgot about something very important. Okay, we forgot about something very important. Yeah, we have case. another very massive, very densely populated nation that that was living next to Soviet Union. We had China. If China also had the resources back then to craft and to cooperate with the Soviet Union via internet. At this point, there was like, um, at the 80s, there was uh, market projections, okay? And like, uh, telling how economies would have grow, uh, grew and like shrank, yada yada. And they projected back during the 80s that the Soviet economy would have outtaken the US economy by 2005, okay? If it didn't collapse, if nothing happened, if Gorbachev didn't exist, yada yada, right? And nothing would have happened, the Soviet economy would project and would be much larger than the uh, US economy. By now it would be 
about 10 to 20 percent higher okay you have china right now as a socialistic nation projecting to surpass the soviet economy in the soviet the american the economy american in 2025 so a socialistic economies passing market free they, liberal they're economies existing for what 70 80 years now the chinese uh the chinese yeah, the, uh, at 55 socialist republic I think they i think they liberated themselves fully by 55 or 53 yeah, so, no excuse me they liberated themselves in 53 the korean war ended in 55 so mm -hmm. my point was they are existing for like, like below uh vic a century, century. Uh, and they they are about to overtake the americans which had no war no massacres, no genocides. Well, and they uh, existed for longer. Okay, when I said they, they didn't have war, you have the civil war. Okay? I mean, yeah, but it was. Yeah, they've existed for three centuries. For three. They, centuries. they existed for longer, literally. I mean, you you can't use it. I mean, you can use it as an argument, but then again, the Chinese also had the war, and the. They had more than wars. They had, they had multi millions of deaths. Multi yeah, millions. The casualties were larger, World larger War II. capacities, and you know, it's... World War Two caused like from ten to twenty million Chinese deaths, and then after that, the continuation of the Chinese Civil War killed millions as well, and they're still competing with the largest economy on the planet. Now imagine when the Soviet economy, which again annihilated during World War Two, totally vaporized to rebuild itself. Go back on track, send the first man into uh, into space, woman, yada yada, build the internet, all right, crafting it, sending information far faster than any nation could fucking hope for. At that point, they would probably view that as telekinesis. Now, mind you, the propaganda. Eh? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> mind you, the propaganda. If the Soviets, all right, reach the moon, okay. They have a very massive military, they won in China, they stalemated in Korea, and now Vietnam is like being on fire again. And now I think shortly Cuba as well. There's a lot of like communist victories like popping on left and right. You have economic ones, you have political ones, you have strategic ones. Academics, let's not talk about academics as well. Like Soviet academics at that point, like imagine you're going from back to Tsarist Russia, right? where there was only like 7% literacy to now almost literacy not existing in the Soviet Union. Especially with this thing, how it would help uh, educational system. Like imagine, imagine um, a teacher, okay? She wanted to know, let's just say exactly which city she wants to talk about. Okay, you have something about tourism, right? And she has it in a computer, in a desk that's built in into the school, and she can check it instantly. Or if she wants to say something like, for example, she's a language teacher, she's a new language teacher, okay? And she forgot what what word meant. Rather than to open up a dictionary, she can open up a, a laptop or a computer at that time. I mean, okay? And we're talking about the 70s and 80s era. What teachers are doing now in like 50 years after that. Science, economics, everything would just skyrocket. That the Soviet economy would surpass think, the American ones way ahead of time. I think the fear of losing the jobs that they thought they would lose with the Ogas, you know, yeah. train, uh, I believe um, they wouldn't have lost. I mean, they, they would have definitely lost the profession, as you said. Uh, they were... Uh, Teachers wouldn't be needed if there was a machine that taught children everything. They would only need an assistant. Yeah, but we're still not going through that time. Yeah, yeah but yeah, imagine, just imagine, uh, imagine August took place, right? And it was developed. It, it, it is functioning 100% and it is ready to be let mass to, produced. in the world. Mass, yeah. pro mass produced, yeah. For example, we've started talking about teachers. Let's, uh, let's take t teachers uh, as an example. They take their jobs, right, take quote-unquote, they, then they're, they're needed by, uh, the, uh, you, uh, hold on just a second, let me collect my thought, so, uh, maybe teachers wouldn't be needed at that point, but definitely assistants would be, and, uh, imagine, August took place, you know, during the 60s and 70s, 
Imagine the world that, that we would live in today. Even if the Soviet Union fell after that, even if, you know, everything, the same history, yeah, everything the, is the same as today, the except the August Doctrine happened. I mean, is the influence of the... The influence of the technology that would have been made by the Soviets would leave a large impact on... Definitely, definitely. On today's technology. I, I think that if they succeeded in that, we would have been taught today by robots instead of... Uh, I think I think it, I think I think it would be. I mean, it, it could be far fetched. I could be wrong again, but I, I might hypothetically. Yeah, I might hypothetically. make something groundbreaking as a fucking weird thing in a podcast done in this weird room, dressed like this, right? So, <laughs> imagine a, a school system built out of efficiency, and it was like mass, massly implemented in multiple cities. Okay, imagine you have students, all right? You have like elementary students, you have high school students, you have university students. Okay. Imagine, or college. Hmm? Or college. college, university, like it's the same. It's a sort of system. Yeah, education, okay? And you have like uh, controlled groups which usually go there physically and you have another group as well. This is the type of uh, implementation which they would have funding for and experiment on. Listen to this, right? Imagine one class, okay? From elementary, okay, one batch of students, like 30 in one city, then 30 in another city. There's like multiple cities you can take this, right? All of them, all of their information, all of their education that they're going to take, okay, is going to be done via computer only, okay? Like, take it, for example, like, they have, as a child, okay, you have uh, your main language, then you have a second language, you have basic mathematics, you have basic physics, you have, you know, the basics, the elementary things, okay? And then, you set a goal. For the first month, you have to achieve all of this. This is your reading material. By the end of the month, you'll have to do a test, Okay? And then afterwards, you read up, you do the test, yada, yada. And then they will see, they would see a child from the beginning all the way to their university level. And then when they get a job, to see their efficiency at that. If their efficiency is the same and higher than that, they would implement that statewide. Like, for example, the entire Soviet Union would be run out of that educational system. And then after that, other nations will take that as an, into consideration. They see the efficiency in that because they will see the happiness level of children, right? They don't really need to be uh, going into, uh, well, let's be honest, a lot of situations happen where like bullying happens, right? When you don't have any physical contact with people that you don't like all the time for years and years and years, when that doesn't happen, what, what's going to happen? Higher productivity, higher efficiency. Exactly. Yeah. Happiness level going higher up. Mental, higher mental state, you know. And, and, the amount of, better. and the amount of time that you're going to have to yourself. Okay? Like, for example, imagine those four or eight hours that you spend in school, depending on which, con which country you're living in, to be reduced only when you want to stay in school. Technically, at home, reading and studying. Every other time, you can spend on multiple things. In fact... You can probably hold a job a lot better and go to school at the same time more efficiently. I mean, the pandemic has shown us that we can do online classes. Yeah, and was, what happened? Jobs? We found more jobs. We have found more time. Exactly. That was my point before. I didn't mention this, but uh, again, the teacher's example. You would not have teachers because, let's be real, we you have probably learned history more from YouTube videos rather than history teachers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In school. So... I think that YouTube would have been a thing from the 80s, from the 90s. Yeah. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have been called YouTube. It w it would have been called our tube, but you know it's probably it's the same concept of learning. Na, I wouldn't na, need sha, teachers. Na, sha, <laughs> <laughs> na, sha, na sha stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, like I said, I, I, I didn't say this before, but you know, I, it, I, it popped in my mind that literally all we do today is learning through technology. I and you and, and everybody, I believe, that watches YouTube would learn a, a thing or two about history. And even if we don't want to, even if we, if we wanted to just search up uh, two or three sentences of information, we would have remembered it because we searched up for it. Instead of being forced to go to an institution where the teacher isn't probably trained enough or paid enough to to uh, share their knowledge with us, the peoples. So, I mean, I mean I imagine, yeah. just imagine YouTube from the, our tube, from the 80s. Beginning from the 80s. Yeah. 
I mean, okay, teachers are limited with the materials, but also that you say that uh, they weren't, they are not uh, paid enough, so they don't uh, really uh, care about it. Yeah, well, they, not, not, and not, they tell you not all, everyone, but yeah, most they, of them. They tell you yeah. only the basic stuff and uh, what is the purpose of the, I don't know, example, but, historical But they don't events. elaborate further, they don't explain yeah, why yeah, or how yeah. or when. I mean, when, uh, they are supposed to say when, history, yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, they don't explain, like, I don't know, in depth as to what happened, how they were thinking, what were they thinking, what yeah. was their goals. And you're their... losing one hour of your time for nothing. When you can well, only... for just one class, you have multiple classes. Yeah, you have multiple ah. classes, but they have a material to, I don't know, to cover up at, uh, around 150 years of historical period. They cover up more, they cover up thousands, let's be honest. Uh, depend what year you are. Yeah, if you're in elementary, you learn everything. In elementary, not, you learn everything. Not exactly. You, you learn from, you know, you learn the pyramids, you learn the, the Macedonian Empire here, you learn about Rome, you learn about uh, the Ottomans here. Most yeah, of you learn about the, the Ottomans. Uh, Macedonian country with Tsar Samuel. Yeah. Yeah, then, then the medieval age. Yeah, then yeah, after Macedonian tribes, you yeah, but the the, Ions, the, yeah, but that is a four four years uh, period of history. Now they tell you only the basic stuffs and what is the yeah, purpose. Yeah, this happened. This time that happened. That time. The, yeah, the, this, just, because that that happened. It's that tasteless. time is from it's, that is uh, happening. This yeah, and the, the material they, is. Uh, well, we we're just not talking about the subject and what the the main it's topic. It's so related to it. But you know, it's. Um, it's kind of the teacher's job to elaborate further or uh, make it tasteful instead of tasteless. When you read the material as it is, uh, you don't have, you know, any uh, any other information that could potentially explain why that happened during that period. Like we, we're learning about Olga's through technology. We didn't learn uh, yeah. Olga's through. Or Our education, they, yeah, yeah. They are but this is you... this is more interesting, and it explains, you know, the the planned economy and its efficiency, and uh, what the Americans were trying to hide from us <laughs> for years. <laughs> that <laughs> uh, sneaky Americans, they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, it's basically not. Uh, we are not out from the subject. So if the Olga's succeeded in that age uh, the students uh, we have uh, they will have more material to read about to to uh, I don't know understand the topic more understand the topic to find out new things to new connect concepts. some things you know uh, because in that era they have to buy bo uh, find books or buy books from uh, Stranstvo uh, other from nations, foreign, foreign, from, foreign yeah, nations. from the foreign nations. Uh, back then they didn't. Uh, so the Soviet economy was very embargoed and sanctioned, like okay, especially at the beginning. I'm not uh, talking about the Soviet, uh, about the other countries. Ah, if yeah, the Soviet yeah. succeeded with the Olgas, uh, the, they will spread out through the world. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Communism did not win. What did win? Femboys. <laughs> we don't talk about that here. Fem <laughs> we don't talk we about have, it. We got femboys. We got. I'm embargoing the femboys. We're not talking about them here. We have people, all right, literally teaching you about alpha and beta males, my guy. Me as a programmer, I view them as like fucking basic. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Put all women on leashes. <laughs> the dogs they are. <laughs> Uh, I'm the most Googled man on earth. <laughs> Check it! Check oi. it! <laughs> oi, Tate, shut the fuck up. Oh, Tate. <laughs> Legit. Uh, Legit. That's all we have today. Oh, that's gonna come. Calm, calm that's, down, Kao. That... <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna I mean, be a snip. That's I'm wearing a leather jacket. What are you fucking. <laughs> that, that, that's gonna be a snip. That's gonna be, yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. a snip. This is going to be from the I'm, start of the I'm video. It, honestly, alright? You got, you got people, right? You, you got people that like. Teach others in a way like alpha, beta males, right? As a programmer, you know what I understand? That like people that want to go back, you know, alpha and beta builds are not the full release of the game. Just like the Italians. Yeah. They went back to <laughs> I don't I don't want to do the thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Do not think. Do not think. <laughs> Shut the camera. <laughs> I mean, I have Italian. Go bin. back to I have, I have friends from Italy, which is the funniest thing. Also, another thing that's going to be censored a lot in the internet if it's run by Russians or Soviets, a uh, porn. Porn would definitely not be oh, that mainstream. We would have been a healthier society, I believe. If porn didn't exist, if they censored it, if the Soviet, no, I, mean, I think we would. Well, have what been are you talking about, my I, guy? I, I, I don't. I don't think Health? fanboys would exist. Bear with me. I don't think fanboys would exist. I don't think Andrew Tate would exist. How many conservatives, right, in America, have you found out that they've been, like, jerking off to trans porn or found with a trans person? I mean, that, that's the meta, right? That's the good That's the meta! That's the meta! That's, that's the meta! meta. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, no, it, it, if it's, it, you know, if it's trendy to, sh to shit on, you know, uh, fanboys and... Uh, uh, we're talking about fanboys, alright. If we're, if it's the meta to shit on fanboys, you're gonna shit no, on fanboys no, as a politician, here's the right? Here's the thing, if how it's much... the meta or to promote, you know, liberal ideas, you will promote liberal ideas. No, I mean, that's that's just game. No, here's the thing, right? And what, what Men... the politicians, I'm sorry, if, if, if the politicians, you know, really think that they, are, they, they, they would enjoy transport, then if the meta is to not support transport, they, they wouldn't support transport. Then. Okay, good. Uh, Regardless of if they watch it or not. You, good you know analysis I mean? on current marketing strategies, I understand, right? I'm talking about human people and I'm mostly talking about people that are, you know, forcing yourself to be like, titled as something mentally degrades you okay right. rather than to consider yourself and other people to consider you as normal okay even though we don't see that as normal all right rather than to have a society which is like okay this dude he likes dressing up more like a female good for him he's still human isn't he right. but like somebody that's trans like they're transitioning from one to another rather than to call them trans he's still human they want to be pronounced uh, he he, him, or her, uh, she, her, right? Understandable, right? And imagine a society where those things are not fetishized, okay? When they're not popular, uh, like, popular to talk shit about, or, like, uh, being degraded. Popular right? enough to be talked about. Regardless, in a society where things like that, like, pornography, which degraded, like, it mostly does degrade women, for, like, what, uh, for men, it degrades women. And also the opposite happens for women as well and whatever they're into. Imagine a society which is based off of healthy knowledge about sex, understanding what it is, understanding what love is, what attraction is, and yada yada, all of that. You would not have people here teaching other people some random ass bullshit like fucking uh, beta males, alpha males, sigma males, yada, you gotta be like this, you gotta be like that. No, you're normal, you're human, you feel things, okay? Be you. Be you. All right. Right. Your identity isn't stolen when you have the same opportunities as everybody else. Your identity is stolen when you give it a title which anybody can attack. I'm very fucking scientific, my guy. <laughs> Alright? When you degrade something and you make it, like, perverted, regardless of what it is, degrading something can also be the whole, you know, sigma, beta, whatever the fuck talk. That is degrading another I mean, human. that's the symptom. That's a symptom of porn and symptom of, you know... Uh, sex society, sex selling. Yeah, they they make you feel weak mentally. All right, rather than to build up on yourself, your charisma, your character. We don't need to be all the same. Everybody can have different types of charisma. Those three of us have different types of charisma. Okay, mm -hmm. some people like me, and other people don't like me. They like you, or they like you, right? Yeah, that's how the world functions. Okay, identity doesn't need to be stolen here. So yeah, in a, in a society run by basically communists, okay, which care a lot about your mental health, your physical health, all right? They care about enhancing human technology, propelling us forward, not to just this space race to the moon. They're going to continue. When they win, when they know that they're just like so much better than the capitalists in the West, they're going to be going to, the Mo to, to Mars. They're going to be going to the moons of Saturn and the moons of uh, Jupiter. They're going to be traveling to uh, Venus and and mercury and such alike so if basically current technology can, current... Sorry, can they travel to mercury is it mercury like yeah so close I, to the I, sun? yeah, yeah I... <laughs> I mean no no you can 
It how? is possible. How? It is possible. I mean, if you want you're to... You're in a spaceship. I mean, you're not going out there swimming till Mercury, <laughs> you dumbasses. Okay, you're, you're talking about just going Traveling. There. Like, right. traveling. Okay, right. in a spaceship which protects you, my guy. There has been probes right. sent to Mercury. I mean, Alright. Well, no, no, sorry, sorry. Okay. okay, you go you go all the way to Venus, right? There's a space station. You're like, hey, yo, let me get a dip in there, okay? And you just, like, swim from <laughs> out of space. Alright, like this. For, for, for days. For days, right? And then you're like, oh, shit, I missed the trajectory. Now Mercury's the other side of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> anyway. Get the popcorn. <laughs> anyway. Interesting fact about the... <laughs> uh, yeah, I eat them too. I have a mi microwave. Smell. I know them. <laughs> you know them? Who is this? I know popcorn. them. <laughs> popcorn. Go oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know them. <laughs> look. Look. Imagine a face, right? I'll take one. Right. Anyway, uh, the Russians uh, with the Ogres, I think they will do the same to improve the people. Uh, interesting fact about uh, China, uh, they created TikTok, right? Alright. Uh, in China, they... Wait, did they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, technically, they... it's an it's another app that bought off a yeah, music leaf. It was a Chinese Yeah, app. but uh, this is the point. Uh, they uh, make an algorithm that uh, in China, China, the Chinese TikTok, they provide them with uh, science videos, with uh, uh, more reasonable to tell uh, videos. Uh, I don't know about. Some something to craft, uh, something how to improve improve yourself, uh, science as as, me, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I don't know, something that is good, okay, uh, but the other countries they have algorithm to do the other uh, how to say bullshit, yeah, exploiting human needs. Yeah, like the dances, the... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, softcore porn, basically. <sighs> yeah. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Ah, uh, by, uh, by the way, in China, you're not allowed to um, teach other people about medicine or financial uh, yeah, advice you have, if you, you don't have... have a degree in it. Like, you're not dip if diplomat. You're not, if you don't have the license for it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, you, my guy, you have hos hospital. Do oh, you want to wrap this up? Nah, you wrap it up. You have the... All um, right. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, podcast that I did with uh, two of my friends, two of my sluts, two of my oh. favorite, <laughs> two of my favorite <laughs> gravy babies. <laughs> uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Also, read Lenin, read Marx, and I I'll see you improve again. Improve yourself. Improve yourself. Self-improve yourself. Okay, wait a second. Wait, we have the most important part. Hit that music. Oh, that's it,